am so excited to be with you. Today, we are getting ready to do a head-to-head -head battle with, oh, let me make it right, Miel Stylers. So, I've been hearing from y'all called Miel. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Miel? Is it Miel? We are going to put the Coil Sculpting Cuss Shirt against the Maximum Hold Gel Styler. I'm so excited to see which one of these works the best. I have never used either one of these products, the Custer or the Gel, so this is going to be my first reaction and a very honest review. Y'all see, I just got out of the shower and I put the Mayo Pomegranate and Honey Leaf in Conditioner. Now, before we get into it, they do have different instructions. So the custard is saying to start on dripping wet hair. So I made sure that this side is a lot more wet. Take small sections, apply generously, finger the product, allow hair to air dry or diffuse. And then the gel is saying, Apply as needed to dry or with hair work desired amount for the hair. Break through the hair with fingers. You got to start the curls after setting the product, air dry or diffuse. So I'm going to be air drying on both of these. We make sure we read the instructions. The other thing that this custard says is to prime the wet hair with the leave in, which I've done. It says optional for best results to apply uh, the Maya Mint almond oil after priming while hair is still wet for additional conditioning and to reduce potential flaking. So I have seen some people say that they experience flaking with this product with the smoothie. The smoothie I believe has coconut oil in it and I was like I'm not even messing with that because the way that my hair reacts to coconut oil is it's just not good. I will also say disclaimer both of these products have glycerin in them. The custard has glycerin as the second ingredient the gel has glycerin as the fourth ingredient. So we know how me and my hair, you know, I talk about glycerin free products, but I'm still excited to see what these products do. I don't have the Myel Mint Oil, but I do have some Growth Burst Serum Organic Beauty Essence, and this has a lot of, a lot of different things in it. But I figured, you know, just, I'm just gonna use what I got instead of buy something else because I read that after I went to the store. Y'all see how juicy this hair is. It's pretty much soaking wet. Here's another thing we're gonna do before we can start. Okay, so notice that the custard is really wet, runny, when you pull it out. It's kind of <laughs> slimy. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on my hair. I like the way it feels going on. And then <sighs> the gel it's just like a gel, it's really, ooh, it's thick, but it's not right. It still has some movement to it, okay? So we'll get into that in just a little while. I'm gonna say this while I'm getting started. I just said I like the way that this custard feels. I wasn't a big fan of how the leave in conditioner made my hair feel, guys. I actually took a long time. I took some care in detangling my hair today. And as soon as I put the leave in on, I feel like my hair just had some friction and tension again. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but. I love it. So I like that 
this application is a little bit smoother. I'm used to leave-in conditioners having that slip, making your hair feel soft, moisturizing, allowing you to kind of fingle these tangle through your hair before you actually apply any product. And like I said, it just, it causes more friction. This is about, you can't even see. about how much I put it in. So the leave-in has glycerin in it as well. Okay. Which I use, I have used leave-ins with glycerin in it before. It's not, you know. That big of a deal. But with all this glycerin, we'll see. It's not, let me say it like this. It's not that big of a deal when the product on top doesn't have glycerin in it. But with all this glycerin, we shall see. What I notice is that the custard is elongating my hair. Which is good, it's kind of I don't know, turning into some like foam or something on here. Like I said, I like the way it feels. I'm just making sure to get it on every curl. Get the bottom of the hair. I told it all before. I'm not a big shingle girl. My hair is very thick. If you all can't tell. So I like the lay down look. Now this is what I mean, elongated. You see right here. And elongated, but then it also, this product is weighing my hair down. So you see how it's kind of like puffy, poofy, and then you'll we'll see what it looks like once I have it on. I like the lay down look, because one thing I know, my hair is going to puff up on its own. My hair is going to have volume without me having to do anything. So, if that's one of your concerns or something you don't like or go against, try to get products that do the opposite of. That might be something she would think about. So y'all saw how puffy that section was, right? And now that we have this custard on there, look how it just kind of lays down. That's a huge difference, guys. That's a huge difference than what it was like before. That's amazing. Let's see how it dry. I have no complaints about this product and the product combination with the leave-in so far. Even though I didn't like the leave-in application in the shower, have no complaints with how it is working together and I could try it another time just applying the leave-in when I get out of the shower but because it asked for sucking my hair it was easier to come out with my hair a little bit more drenched so yeah this is giving. This is definitely giving. And I'm just 
starting at the ends. Our ends have been with us the longest. May give us the most trouble. Get tangled easily. No, on the top, on the top of my head is tangled really easily too. So sometimes you'll see me come through and separate and kind of finger detangle with the product in. down to my roots so I don't have matted hair so that I don't have puffy hair but yeah right now this custard is where it's at okay yes So let's talk about factors that we're looking for as we are doing this battle that we'll be judging. So obviously the first factor is just like application in my mind, like how easy it is to get the product on, what it does when you're applying it. Is it, you know, making your hair hard, stiff, tangled more? Is it that it provides with? Is it going through easily? Is it, you know, making these curls pop when you put it on? Is it elongating? Is it, you know, holding your hair down? Like, what is it that you look for in a product? Because it's doing, you know, what I like, what I want. Okay. Then, for me, the next factor is gonna be, wow, you know, like, how long did it take to dry? After it dries, is it hard? Is it stiff? Does it flake? Is there movement? Is it still long, elongated? Did it shrink, like, all the way back up? Does it look like you did not spend however long you spent applying product. Like, is it shiny? Are the curls still defined? Is it frizzy? How long does it last? These are the things that are important to me. I don't know if y'all can see the smell on my face. Uh-oh. I told y'all to apply product to the bottom first and I did not. But this is, this is, this is nice. I just, I try not to get too excited. Because I know that right now is not, is not even the determining factor for real, for real, right? It's like, what is this hair going to do when it dries? I have gotten fooled and disappointed so many times. But I'm excited. I am very, very excited. I'm just gonna show you what it was like. Super deep on. Okay, so now let's get into this gel. Let me 
you've done this, please pull up in the comments. Let me know which one you like better and why. Let me tell you what I did over here because the gel doesn't necessarily say use a leave in. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I didn't even put any oil in the front part, so hope I don't have any flakage. But because the gel doesn't say to put leave-in, but so says just apply to wet or dry hair, I did put leave-in just because again I know my hair. But okay, so what I did was the, the sections that you kind of saw me go through with the custard, I put leave-in on each of those sections and I just kind of worked it through with my hand and my fingers because I knew this product set to prep with leave-in. With this side, because it did not say that you had to, I just got a little bit of leave-in and just put it on the whole big section and just kind of worked it through that way instead of like going through each individual section. So it does have some leave-in in it, but not as much. That could also be another reason why I didn't like the application of the other one because I put too much, like I don't know. But here we go. This is my hair. It's not necessarily soaking wet like the other hair was. So I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh. So same thing, I like the way this feels. This definitely feels like other gels I have used. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, uh, she said, <laughs> do not disturb the girls, right? So we just gonna leave it alone. Okay. This should be better. My husband is so funny, y'all. When I saw him, I was gonna do a versus. He was like, well, <laughs> how long are you gonna go around with your hair? <laughs> You gonna go around with your hair? I guess I had two different states. <laughs> so this is funny. I don't know. Like I'm at home most of the time with the kids. Like I'm not going anywhere. As long as I, I probably will only leave these hairstyles in for three days. And then just do a leave-in and an oil and some big twists or something. So my hair can feel, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. I'm just trying to make sure I feel a little tangle at the end. I think I was more surprised at this custard. Although, I will say, I'm surprised by it, but I also felt like that's what I wanted to try. I don't know if that makes it. I think it's because of how I wear my hair or what my holy girl is. The kinky curly curling custard. It's a custard itself, so I'm like, my hair choose the custards. So I like custards. So I was like, oh, let's do this custard. But then when I saw this gel, because of the type of hair that I have, this type four hair, I was like, oh, maybe I should do the gel. So if you're someone like me, Who's like, which one should you try? This video is for you. The 
we gonna see, we gonna see. We gonna see where my girl's at. Actually, do some of this before applying the product, right? Okay. My man just needed to follow my own advice. Always coat the ends first. So much easier to work through when I do that. I told you I'll be talking about porosity in an upcoming video where I do a pre poo The reason it came up is because of the type of oil um, that was recommended for the pre poo which was coconut oil. And it caused me to do some research on, you know, why would my hair react away to coconut oil, which mentioned the porosity of your hair, which let me do more research and confirm the type of porosity hair that I have, which again is low porosity. Okay. Knowing these things about our hair is more important than like, oh, what's your regimen? What's your routine? Because if I'm using products and or oils that are prone to make your hair more dry or more frizzy or just all these things, it doesn't make sense. It makes more sense for you to know what you're dealing with and why certain products, ingredients, work better or not for you. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of feel like I know where this is going, this battle. And what my hair looks like with this gel on it. I've seen this before. Which is why I wanted to try the custard more. But I am, not even gonna lie, surprised at how well it performed in my hair. So yeah, I could get to see the before while wet. Look at this side. 
Here is the before. It's like they look the same, but not. These curls are individualized. These curls are more clumped. Right now, this is more elongated. This side with the gel, just because there, been, there has been some time since I did this here. So this is kind of, you know, closing up. I really need to stop touching my hair. So my prediction is that this custard is going to be the winner for me. Uh, I think it's gonna look better. I think it's going to have better movement and elongation. I also think it's going to feel better. This prediction is only based off my experience with previous gels where my hair has looked like this before. I'll say look and felt because this, this gel application has felt like previous gels my hair is still not completely dry, mainly like on the insides of my hair. So tell me you have low porosity hair without telling me you have low porosity hair. But even with that being said, I feel like we have a clear winner here, <laughs> especially as it pertains to how this hair looks and is drying as is. This is the gel side. This is the custard side. And I don't know about you, but I am here for this custard side. Do y'all see the difference in elongation of my hair? Like, it's crazy. Like, okay, watch this. Do y'all see how much more movement I have on this side than I do over here? Like just the nature of gel, it clumps your hair together. It's moving, it's not stiff, but look how much more movement I have over here. It's ridiculous. I absolutely love how this custard came out. I love that it feels like individualized curls versus just curls that are clumped together. Now I have touched my hair, <laughs> just to kind of like go in and see where it's actually still not dry on the inside. But I've done that to both sides and you see, this is just amazing to me. I had a feeling that I was gonna like this side more. I obviously did not know how much more I'm feeling like I have to do a versus or a product battle with this against my holy grail, my kinky curly curling custard because of how well this performed. Like, I am so shocked. I figured I would like this product, but I am very surprised at how much I like this product. It's about, I would say, 80% dry, so I don't think the rest of the drying process is going to change what it looks like or what it feels like. It's soft. This is soft too, I'm not gonna lie. It's not super crunchy or as hard and stiff. And it could be because I've been moving it to see where the wet parts are. But this is how I want my hair to look when I do a wash and go. This is how my hair generally looks when I use a gel that has glycerin in it. So, I'm just sit around for y'all. So many times we see these brands that have more than one product, more than one gel, more than one custard, more than one mousse, whatever, right? And we're like, which one is gonna work for us? And 
This is such a cool and quick way to bring that out without having to buy one product doing my whole hair, buy another product doing my hair, whole hair, and just kind of showing you the difference in where my curl is at. So, if you liked this video, send me in the comments the things that you want to see battle, and I'll see y'all in the next video.